there are key components and key ingredients in the recipe of a student mentality. Number one, you need to be disciplined. The future is very expensive and only those who are carriers of discipline can inherit the future. I need you to stay motivated. I don't care if you have to listen to me a thousand times, I need you to stay motivated. And I need that motivation to mature into discipline. I need you to be self-aware. So I need you to remember that you are always learning. In life, you are always learning. And I need you to believe in yourself. I need you to see yourself capable, lovable, and unconditionally worthy of your future. Turn your pain into progress. I need you to see yourself. See yourself. One of the things that many students lack is vision. You got to see yourself before you get there. You have to hear yourself telling yourself thank you. I need you to open up your ears. Open up your ears. Because the you from the future is telling you thank you. Thank you for not giving up when you wanted to give up. Thank you for not being depressed. Thank you for not allowing the brokenness to eat your progress. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You got this. It's going to get hard sometimes. I'm telling you right now. It's not going to be easy. But it's worth it. Maybe you're listening to me right now. You want to lose weight or you... You try to pass the final exam, or maybe there's just this feat that seems as though it is impossible. Turn your pain into progress. Turn your pain into progress. I need you to be uncomfortable with average. I need you to be allergic to average. I need you to come to the end of yourself. So many people are depending on you. A student is hardworking. A student is mentally tough. Have the ability to adapt, have a character, consistency, demonstrate courage on the daily, stay motivated, stay positive, earn your respect, have a winning attitude, breathe, compete, make no excuses, set goals, practice great habits, stay focused. You want your future? You got to outwork everybody on that field. You got to outwork everybody in the room. You gotta learn how to perform under pressure. You gotta leave it all out on the field. <laughs> Everybody wants the future, but everybody wants to be average. There are gonna be times when you feel like you're losing your mind and you study for hours and you're gonna take an exam and you will not pass. A student is resilient. A student is disciplined. A student is committed. A student is consistent even when they don't want to be because the cycle of depression needs to end with you. The cycle of not enough needs to end with you. The lack and the dysfunction and the anxiety and all of these things that your family and your father and your mother have gone through. You have to keep a student mentality. I studied and I failed the exam. I studied and I failed the test. Life is an uphill war and it is filled with tests and exams and critical moments where you are going to have to dig deep inside of yourself and ask yourself why? Why did you start in the first place? And what was the emotion, the feeling, what was the science and the psychology behind the decision that you made? And nine times out of ten, I can tell you why you started. You started because you were hungry. Hunger is the feeling of discomfort or weakness caused by a lack of food coupled with a desire to eat. How hungry are you? When you feel like throwing in the towel, when you feel like surrendering everything you work for, remember why you started. Remember how you felt when you started. You were hungry. When you want to let go, when you want to surrender, when you want to stop, when you're ready to quit, when you have failed and failed again. Let me remind you what got you here. Hunger got you here. A strong desire got you here. 
You were desperate to break curses in your family. You were desperate to break the cycle of poverty and depression. You were desperate. Hunger catch you here. Remember this. Every dream requires discipline. Every dream requires discipline. You can travel the world and study students and their behaviors and their mindsets. There is a science behind achievement. And when you study the most successful students in the world, we find that they are responsible, they are motivated, they are self-managed, they are self-aware. They have a long-lasting student mentality even after they have passed the test. Because they understand that life is a test. And in life, there are ups and there are downs. And so accept the responsibility. See yourself as primarily responsible for your outcomes and your experiences. You are going to need discipline. Motivation will help you get started. But discipline is going to keep you on the road to your destiny. You got to be self-motivated. You got to find purpose in what you do by discovering personally meaningful goals and dreams. If you're going to be a successful student, if you're going to come out on top, you've got to start managing your time. You plan and you take action in pursuit of your goals and dreams. So let me tell you something. Everybody has a dream, but there is a behavior that must follow your belief system. Remember this. Behavior follows belief. If you have not been able to change your behavior to match your dream, then you need to go back and examine your belief. Because 10 times out of 10, if you can't change your behavior to match your dream, then you don't believe. When somebody believes, everything changes. The time is coming where you are going to feel like giving up. But you're going to have to remember why you started. You got to dig deep and learn how to create possibilities for yourself when nobody gives you an opportunity. You have to turn your mess into your message.